foot. And they love me. I get them free at the library. I read them once. I read them twice. Library books are oh so nice. Hi friends, good morning. We're back to school after spring break. And today, I was thinking about Easter coming up and that always makes me think of Peter Cottontail, which always makes me think of Beatrix Potter. I thought you might not have heard the story of Tail Tom Kitten, so I thought I would read that to you today. So our story is The Tale of Tom Kitten by Beatrix Potter. I think he was a friend of Peter Rabbit. Let's see. Tom Kitten by Beatrix Potter. This particular book was copyrighted in 1993, but the story of Tom Kitten was written a very long time ago, back in the 1800s. Once upon a time, there were three little kittens, and their names were Mittens, Tom Kitten, and Moppet. They had dear little fur coats of their own, and they tumbled about the doorstep and played in the dust. But one day their mother, Mrs. Tabitha Twitchit, expected friends to tea. So she fetched the kittens indoors to wash and dress them before the fine company arrived. First, she scrubbed their faces. This one is Moppet. Then she brushed their fur. This one is Mittens. Then she combed their tails and whiskers. This is Tom Kitten. Tom was very naughty and he scratched. I don't think he wants to get cleaned up. It might be like some of you when Mama says you have company coming. Mrs. Tabitha dressed Moppet and Mittens in clean pinafores and tuckers. That's like aprons. And then she took all sorts of elegant, uncomfortable clothes out of a chest of drawers in order to dress up her son, Thomas. That's the name for Tom. Tom Kitten was very fat, and he'd grown several buttons burst off. His mother sewed them on again. When the three kittens were ready, Mrs. Tabitha unwisely turned them out into the garden to be out of the way while she made hot, buttered toast. Now here they are, all dressed up, all cleaned up with nice, pretty clothes, and she's turned them into the garden. What do you think is going to happen? Now keep your frocks clean, children. You must walk on your hind legs. Keep away from the dirty ash pit and from Sally Henny Penny and from the pigsty and the puddle ducks. Those are other characters in the Beatrix Potter stories. Moppet and Mittens walked down the garden path unsteadily. Presently, they trod upon their pinafores and fell on their noses. When they stood up, there, there were several green smears. Uh-oh. Let us climb up on the rockery and sit on the garden wall, said Moppet. They turned their pinafores back to front and went up with a skip and a jump. Moppet's white tucker fell down into the road. So they turned their clothes inside out, I guess hoping Mama wouldn't say that they'd gotten dirty spots on them. Tom Kitten was quite unable to jump when walking upon his hind legs in trousers. That's pants. He came up the rockery by degrees, breaking the ferns and shedding buttons right and left. He was all in pieces when he reached the top of the wall. Moppet and Mittens tried to pull him together. His hat fell off and the rest of his buttons burst. Remember, because he was a fat little kitten. He had grown. While they were in difficulties, there was a pit-pat paddle-pat and the three puddle ducks came along the hard high road, marching one behind the other and doing the goose step. Pit, pat, paddle, pat, pit, pat, waddle, pat. That sounds just like ducks walking, doesn't it? 
They stopped and stood in a row and stared up at the kittens. They had very small eyes and looked surprised. Then the two duck birds, Rebecca and Jemima Puddle Duck, picked up the hat and tucker and put them on. Oh no, now the ducks are wearing the kittens' clothes. Mittens laughed so that she fell off the wall. Moppet and Tom descended after her. The pinafores and all the rest of Tom's clothes came off on the way down. Come, Mr. Drake puddled up, said Moppet. Come and help us to dress him. Come and button up, Tom. Mr. Drake puddled up, advanced in a slow, sideways manner, and picked up the various articles. But they, he put them on himself. They fitted him even worse than Tom Kitten. Look at there, they just don't fit him at all. They're not made for him to wear. It's a very fine morning, says Mr. Drake Puddle Duck. And he and Jemima and Rebecca Puddle Duck set, set off down the road, keeping step, pit pat paddle pat, pit pat waddle pat. Then Tabitha Twitchit came down the garden and found her kittens on the wall with no clothes on. Tabitha Twitchit is their mama. She pulled them off the wall, smacked them, and took them back to the house. My friends will arrive in a minute, and you are not fit to be seen. I am affronted, said Mrs. Tabitha Twitchit. It's kind of like what your mama might say if you got all dirty up. She sent them upstairs, and I am sorry to say she told her friends that they were in bed with the measles, which was not true. Quite the contrary. They were not in bed. Not in the least. Somehow they were very extraordinary noises overhead, which desert, disturbed the dignity and repose of the tea party. And I think that some day I shall have to make another, larger book to tell you more about Tom Kitten. Ooh, they were naughty little kittens, weren't they? As for the puddle ducks, they went into a pond. The clothes all came off directly because there were no buttons. And Mr. Drake puddled up, and Jemima and Rebecca have been looking for them ever since the end. So now we heard lots of characters in The Tale of Tom Kitten by Beatrix Potter. And you know that there are lots more stories about Peter Rabbit, the kittens, the puddle ducks, and some other cats that you might meet in other stories.